back over in our terminal, let's type ghost stop. We'll restart our ghost. And then we can type ghost start development to restart our ghost server. And when we refresh our page over at the design tab, this is at localhost 2369, but it may be different for you, slash ghost. So the admin panel, you want to then be over at design. You should then see the name of your theme. This is because the package.json has been read by ghost and the configuration object allows us to then activate that theme. So when we hit activate, we see that it activated successfully, but there were some errors. Don't worry about that for now. We'll fix that as we get to developing our theme, but then we can hit close. If we navigate over to localhost 2369 again, you'll notice that our application is now blank. That's exactly what we want because we want to be able to create our own theme, this gives us a blank canvas. Now you'll notice with some other content management systems, it's significantly harder to get started with developing themes, but with Ghost, it's super simple. Let's dive into that and see how we can get started displaying some posts on screen.